So what is this thing over here? その家さしい顔の仏が、わしの掘ったもんじゃあねえ。まことの物心が折られたものだ。人が己の家にあるものと向き合う。そう言った時に助けとなるだろう。己の家にあるものと怒り悲しみ。あるいは古い過去の記
寺を出て右手の広場にもそうした者が一人おる。妙なことになっておる者同士、気が合うかもしれんな。The strange things happening to my body. Can I get a close up here? A little too close. The scar was there before. I've had that marking on my face since we first woke up last time. Are those three claw marks? Or is that my hair? That's my hair swept across my face. Okay. But yeah, there's like a gray patch. And on that side of my head, my hair is gray, also. I can't tell if something has just got smashed against my face and he just doesn't, hasn't cleaned it, or if almost something like ashen is happening, where just weird details are going on. There's a lot of details in this character. All right, so we immediately have the prosthetic arm and he's t saying that he can jam shinobi tools into it if I find them. Hello. まことに息を吹き返したのですね。龍院の力。この目で死かと見ることになるとは。何者だ。エマと言います。猿お方に使える薬です。猿お方と。すみませんが、主の命にて明かせません。ただ、あなたを助けよと。そう仰せつかっています。信用しろとは言いませんですが、私はアルジの命を果たさねばならぬのです。あなたが持っている薬水の氷炭、それはもともと私が作り上げたものです。屈指として助けとなりましょう。Ah, she created it. So that means that she's the one that can probably affect it. Oh, we do have a currency. In the bottom corner down there. Okay. この氷炭、お主が作ったというのか。はい。元は苦労様のために、あなたが譲り受けていたのですね。気づいているかもしれませんが、この氷炭の薬水は、おのずと湧き出します。月たとて少し休めばまた満ちるでしょう。薬師としての助けとは氷炭の種をお持ちください。種だと。はい。薬水は氷炭の種より湧き出します。新たな種を加えれば薬水の傘が増すでしょう。手に入れたら持ってきて
It seems underpowered by by standards, what we expect usually. Litecoin purse, a small purse filled with a small amount of sen. It can be used to acquire the sen inside. Has a somewhat satisfying weight to it. The sen in this purse is not lost upon death. Ah, oh, hard souls. Okay. Very familiar mechanics. Even if the game doesn't play like Dark Souls, as I, which is probably the case, it seems like the level design, at least chunks of it, and the uh, item design is going to share some strong similarities. Definitely part of that being that like they have items that are literally the same items from the other games, just renamed. More pellets. It'd be one thing if it was like a health potion, which is so tropey that you can't really trace it back to Dark Souls specifically, but these are like the, all of the tent pole items you expect in a Souls game are all showing up already. Sculptor's Idol menu. Yeah, mouse on my right stick. Sculptor's Idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a Sculptor's Idol, it will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems in storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive dead enemies. Ah. I don't think that they're saying that there's exceptions where resting doesn't revive enemies. I think they're saying that there's enemies that sometimes don't get revived, which are usually the elite, special, unique enemies. So, now we have a bonfire, like in Dark Souls, and the revive mechanic from Dark Souls. Unseen aid 30%. <clears throat> So all I can do right now is rest. We have we have a bunch of mechanics being listed here. Prayer, bead, memory, vitality, attack power, an unseen aid, my sen, and so on. But right now, all this thing does is let me rest with no additional details. That's probably the main path. Might be a secondary path. This seems like it's the most optional-ish path, so I want to check this out first. What am I looking at here? Oh. No. It's a spooky cool door. You put your back against it and it spins. You can see if the track down there. That's neat. But I, I can't do it yet because I have to find the other side. Okay. So it's a shortcut for later. It's interesting. I, uh... Cause the combat of Dark Souls isn't necessarily my favorite thing about Dark Souls. I like the level design and the atmosphere and the design philosophy more so than the actual details of the combat. So them cha switching out the combat for a different system, I'll be totally comfortable. For me, it's just the fact that Dark Souls games, it's not the matter of the exact nature of their combat or their difficulty, it's just that from software's games demand your attention so much, compared, especially compared to other RPGs. A lot of, a lot of the uh, action RPGs are really button mashy and Dark Souls is so deliberate. Hmm? みんな顔だな。そこもとなあ。うん。名乗られぬか。だが腕ある忍びと Ah! <laughs> Hi. Wow. Let, let us. Okay. Yeah, Hari. Shinanuana. Please honor my simple request. Slice and dice. Really abruptly. All right. そこ
<笑>随分と眉間にシワが寄っておるそこもとよそれがしを使い刀の修練をせぬかお主の使命を果たすために死ねぬ体ゆえ幾度でも切られてやれるぞどうじゃ承知したよしではやろう刀を振らば気も紛れるというもの Training and talk It's a trip everyone's talking like three times as fast as they normally do in this from software game and the、uh, There's even moving lips. I don't think it's lip synced, but they're, they're, they're mouth flapping. Which the only one that did that was the blacksmith? And train attacking, deflection, and evasion. Alright. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Wait. Form three death blows after breaking enemy posture. Okay. This is just the same thing I already learned, basically. I can step through it. But I think these are mostly just things I already know. Yeah, the deflection. Seem to go through me. There we go. Being a little pinned over here, aren't we? A satisfying match. You, did, you weren't fighting me. I'm wondering if something happens if I do them all. Step dodge B. Okay. Last one to avoid attacks. Dodging won't compromise enemy posture, but may help avoid damage. Evade enemy attacks and attack to perform three. Yeah. There we go. So that's a new one. So, you, so there's specifically a special counterattack that follows after both dodging and parrying. Each of them has, the, has their own counter. This guy's not, like, not even targeting me correctly. そろそろよりまことの戦いに即したものも試してはどうかそれがしも殺す気でかかろうそこもとの修練としてもその方が好ましかろう<笑>どうしたなぜそこまで半分は退屈しのぎもう半分はそうじゃなあそこもとの眉間のシワを取ってやりたいのよさあよいからやるぞフリーコンバスナウアベイラブルオーケーファンダメンタルスでは行くぞ承知うんあっへがみ Come on. 
There it goes. And he, he keeps going again. Yep. Nope. So there's different attacks that encourage different feedback. He has one attack that you're supposed to dodge and one attack you're supposed to deflect. There's like a clear division between them. Hey, he's a he's a shadow of a person that just died twice. Ha! Huh? Free combat. That's it for now. Training. Yep. そこ元よ。この Alright, everyone's just here to help me. Guy made me a cool arm. Lady made me a Hestus flask. This guy is my training dummy that's immortal, apparently. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the box is eliminated, it means that an item found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. It's currently empty. Okay. I think that might be based around the idea that parts of the game might become unavailable over time throughout the campaign. And so then anything that you miss, or just items that despawn, might teleport there. And then you can, see, you can, you can buy them... Basically just as a fallback plan where like if, if, it's, if it's a bad thing that that item's gone, well here's a chance to get it. So that the game doesn't like break itself or something with despawning items or whatever. There was no reason to rest because nothing has happened really. Grappling hook. The shinobi's prosthetic grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When the symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 oh, there's a circle growing inside of the circle. Okay. There's actually a sliding scale visual indicator of, of how close you are to being able to use the item. Because this bridge is out, right? Yep. This bridge is very out. Damn. Oh, it's the same tree branch again, too. The whole thing buckles terrifyingly when you land on it. Oops. There we go. Ashina outskirts. Oh. Maybe we'll save him relatively quickly. I would think the top of that is the castle, which is probably where he is. Maybe this, this should, maybe it's just the first level. Or maybe I spend the whole game infiltrating this one area. Never underestimate how much mileage can get taken out of a relatively small zone. See Resident Evil 1, specifically. There we go. You can now instantly travel between sculptor's idols that have been already communed with. Travel can be accessed via the sculpture menu, blah blah blah, yeah. So we, we start off with teleport immediately. Important places. Dilapidated temple. Ah, okay. <clears throat> There's like a summary of places I'll probably want to teleport to throughout the entire campaign. Which is the temple. But the temple itself is within Ashina, so it shows up twice here. But this one... So this is the Ashina level. Okay. So I, I assume at some point, as I get more resources or something, it's going to unlock other features here, such as how do I spend my money, if that is where I spent it. Did I see a guy a second ago? Oh yeah, there's a guy up there. I can grapple over there, there's an item down there. I can grapple onto this piece of wood, I assume. Yeah, there. 
Ungo's sugar. Sugar candy made in Sen Pao Temple. Sustaining Ungo's blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you ensure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpao monks spread this candy across Ashina in, in honor of her military heroes. <clears throat> Temporarily reduces vitality damage from... Vit Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance. Do I do that part, or is that just the pose that happens when I click on it? I think that the only part that I need to know mechanically is that it reduces vitality damage. And I think the rest is, like, context for the item. I assume that I don't actually have an Ungo stance. We'll see, though. Maybe there's a stance I have to actually use to make items work or something. Should be easy enough to sneak up on that guy. Just preferably his back would be turned when I try. There's another guy on the right. Go ahead. He's here. He's lingering. Oh, now the other guy's kind of coming back, which could be bad for me. Oh, no, he's... That other guy's stopping. Okay. Yeah, the, the addition of stealth mechanics actually kind of complements from software's general level design in a few ways. Because careful level design complements stealth mechanics. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once, and from some distance away. Items found in the world are, dif are different than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold X to acquire loot. But from distance away, you say? Oh yeah. Wow, it flies to you. All right. That's one solution for if a corpse ragdolls slightly at a range or something. <clears throat> Ceramic shard, the piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Satisfying, specific detail to add. Throw it at an, uh, at an enemy to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing such pieces made for a popular sport amongst Ashina boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games well. Aw. At least they'll be nostalgic when I murder them. <laughs> I'm gonna murder the shit out of them, but they'll be like, Ah, oh, my childhood. Which is a distressing version of the whole life flashing before your eyes thing. Ooh. Oh, the verticality is real interesting to have added in. Sorry, I didn't give you the nostalgic thing. Sorry. <laughs> there's, there's more. So I think that's... That's the standard stealth item you want all the time, basically, right? It's something you can throw to make a distracting sound. Whenever a, st whenever a game has stealth mechanics but no ability to throw something to distract people, I always feel... Uh oh Is he gonna come investigate? He turned yellow. Like, I think he went full yellow. Maybe it wears off. I think that gate looks really guarded, and it's probably the way forward. So I'm poking around, looking for other details. Where I can find more items. There's two there. I would like every item, please. Whoa, what's this? Stealth Death Blow. You can perform stealth death blows on opponents unaware of your presence. The Plunging Death Blow is one of these, performed when leaping at an unaware enemy from high ground. Okay. Are you saying that I'm la- Okay. I thought they were saying that I was actually jumping at somebody in that moment and I was a little scared because I didn't know where they were. When the red marker appears, Plunging Death Blow. Okay. This guy is unaware of my presence. Yeah. 
Ooh, I got bad news for you. I just stabbed that sword through the floor. That's impressive. 